What is going on, squids and kids? My name is Blaze, and uh, today I'm going to be talking a little bit about Splatoon 2 and some of the things that were discovered um, in uh, through like data mining and hacking and things like that. Um, I also want to cover something that was uh, kind of, I guess, announced a couple of days ago, but I didn't really know of any like official announcement. I did see that uh, there, there's a, a Twitter account called Splatoon News that uh, kind of talked about this, and it's not really anything like super spoiler. So there's a couple things to go over here. Um, as far as the uh, the minor details, uh, this is the the minor details about the game. This is two new hairstyles for the Octolings that are coming out uh, probably in the Octo expansion, and I'm willing to bet you'll be able to have either of these. The one on the right is an afro, which I, uh, for the male characters, which I think looks amazing. It's a, such a cool like idea for a hairstyle uh, for Octolings. I would never would have thought they would have put. Um, <clears throat> an afro in, in this game because it, it doesn't really like make sense but i suppose i could see like the, the tentacles like kind of wrapping around the person's hair to, to make like an afro type uh hairstyle but i, I love the way it looks i think it's really cool um the other one uh, on the left side is something i'll probably use in the game on a consistent basis it is the i guess you can call it a man bun but i don't really like that word man bun even though i i do rock i do rock the longer hair myself that's probably why I'm going to use that hairstyle, but I don't, I don't like the word man bun, so I, I'm just going to call it a bun. Um, but that's that's the Octoling, uh, the two, two new hairstyles for the Octoling uh, when the Octo expansion comes out uh, in the summertime. I'm really excited for the Octo expansion. I'm excited for both those hairstyles and to see them in the game. Um, and I think that the, uh, the hairstyle on the left... Um, I think it's probably going to be my primary hairstyle once I unlock the Octoling. And I'm, I'm going to switch over to Octoling as well. I'm not even going to stay as an Inkling because I think it was fun to play as an Inkling, but I think Octolings are a little bit different, and I like I like the, the difference in being different. Plus, I, I like Marina a lot too, and she's an Octoling, so I think that's really cool. Um, <clears throat> the next thing I want to talk about is um, it, it's it's going to it's going to you know, Dieter on spoiler territory. So if you don't want to be spoiled and you don't want to know anything about the next thing, I'm, the next details I'm going to talk about, uh, feel free to click off the video. Um, this could potentially be something that Nintendo announces at E3. They did talk about uh, game changing uh, reveal at E3, and this could be what they're talking about. Uh, so if, if you don't want to know what it is and you'd rather see it at E3, you'd rather be surprised, uh, definitely try a different video of mine or try. Um, or, or just leave the video in, in at this point. Uh, I'll give you a few seconds to do that. But um, yeah, so it, it is something I think is going to be awesome when it does come out. Uh, but it was discovered by data miners and hackers pretty recently. Um, and there's a video kind of going over all of the details uh, for this for this new thing. So of course, I didn't discover this. It wasn't anything I discovered or hacked or or put into the game. And credit where credit is due, um, which I'll, I'll talk about those uh, those usernames here in a second. But let's go let's go up to a little bit further here in this in this Twitter account. This is uh, Oatmeal Dome and uh, Simon1844. Um, I believe they were uh, the revealers of this, and Pedro Neg I think is involved in this somehow too. So if if they had anything to do with it, they're they're the uh, they're the discoverers of this, and they they deserve all the credit. So uh, not so much me. I'm just talking about it. So. Uh, but this is there's a new mode for the game called Rocket, and uh, <clears throat> let's take a look at what Rocket has, what Rocket is exactly. So, uh, Rocket is a new mode um, where you start out uh, inking, you know, inking towards the middle of the map like always. Uh, you get into the middle, and there is a rocket. So here they they've put a cardboard box there because the rocket model is not complete. So the wooden box is a, a placeholder. Uh, the rocket won't look like that. Um, the next thing that you do is you have to shoot the rocket. Uh, so you'll see him shoot the rocket here in a second. Um, shooting a vulnerable point, vulnerable point of the rocket activates it. After a short time, it will launch into the sky towards the opponent's base. So you shoot the rocket to make it launch into the sky. Um, once it launches, it leaves behind a rocket nozzle. Uh, they have to use the Rainmaker as a placeholder. Uh, a rocket nozzle will drop and the rocket launches. The rocket nozzle can be picked up and used as a weapon. Nintendo used the Stingray. Let's go back one second here. Nintendo used the Stingray. Um, gosh, I'm missing, I'm missing my cues here. Uh, Nintendo's using the Stingray and the Rainmaker as temporary models for it. So this, the you can see right here, this is the Rainmaker. This is not the rocket nozzle, but they have to put something there. 
um, because they don't have a model for the rocket nozzle yet. So uh, the item can be picked up and used as a weapon and also to damage the rocket. Um, so your special weapon cannot be activated while holding the nozzle. Um, it can be used to damage other players and launch the rocket again. Uh, but if, if they keep the uh, fire rate consistent, then you'll see that uh, the fire rate is really good. Like the fire rate on the rocket nozzle is like super good. So I hope they keep it consistent because um, it can it can probably kill people pretty quickly and it can shoot the rocket off again uh, pretty quickly as well. So if the person who holds the rocket nozzle can shoot uh, shoots at the rocket, it's probably going to be easier uh, the following two times to shoot the rocket. And you'll see uh, why you have to do it twice more. Uh, so you can see there he's holding a stingray, which is also a placeholder. That's not what the rocket nozzle looks like, but that's. Uh, that's just kind of a, an example of what, of of uh, a, a new weapon kind of. So, uh, moving on, that's the the stream of, of paint that it shoots out, and it's kind of an infinite paint stream too. You're you're not depleting your your paint supply. It looks like either. So, the rocket will land in a certain another spot of the map. At this point, um, it moves closer to the enemy. As the rocket advances, it requires more damage to launch. So you have to shoot a little a little more. The delaying the rocket delaying the rocket launch will cause it to land a shorter distance than it normally would on the enemy's side of the map. You'll lose control of the rocket if you take too long to shoot it again. So we'll see that a little bit later, um, where right now it's at, it's at the 60 mark. Um, so if your opponents actually manage to get it back, it'll go back to the middle. But when you try to bring it back to this point, it'll be a little bit farther back, uh, probably at the at the. Uh, 75 mark or 73 or something like that so here he's shot it off again he's going to the next point and it drops down right about now <laughs> and uh, once it drops back it's the same deal you gotta shoot it again to launch it uh, the closer the rocket to the enemy spawn point the lower your count will drop launching the rocket at 20 count will result in a knockout so um, in a second, we're going to see kind of the, the tug of war um, mentality that you get with this. So if, if you're at 20 and your opponent drops it back, uh, the next time you hit it, it won't go to 20. It'll go to a little bit a little bit more than 20. So we'll see that in just a second when we see the, the next part of this video. Um, but it is really cool, I think. And when we expand that, we'll see here. It's right where it, right where it left off. <clears throat> Shooting the rocket at 20 will win the game for your team. Um, and destroy your enemy base, I suppose. So, here we've got a victory. Always nice to have a victory. Um, losing control of the rocket. This is what happens when you don't shoot the rocket um, in, a, in a set amount of time. The rocket lands, and uh, you're unable to make it go to the next to the next point. So you kind of move around, doing your own thing. Um, Maybe you get stopped a couple of times. Maybe uh, maybe the opponent's being very aggressive and not letting you get to the rocket. They're defending really well. You don't have a chance to really get there. You lost the rocket. It explodes. And I believe it goes back to the middle. Um, I believe. Um, maybe. I thought it did. Yeah, there it is. So it, comes, it just spawns back in the middle. Um, so when you shoot it again to try to bring it back towards the other side... Um, it will not. Um, it will not go as far as it did the first time. So if you get if you do one, two, three, and you win the game, that's all you need to do. But if you do one and your opponent brings it back, or you do one, two, and your opponent brings it back, it's going to take more hits to get that rocket to the to the enemy base. So um, really interesting stuff. Um, here you'll see that uh, you know. Um, you know, he brought it to 20 after two hits uh, on the on the left side there and on the right side uh, it got brought back to the middle and now it's back but it's at 39 so um, that's kind of where we are with the new mode rocket and I'm actually really excited to play it I think it's gonna have a lot of strategy to it I think there's gonna be a lot of uh, interesting uh, mechanics and it, it, it's probably gonna end up with you trying to trying to kill your opponents more because you have to in order to make the rocket the rocket go you also have to strategically place the person with the nozzle on the rocket um, although anybody on the rocket would, would be fine but the person with the nozzle might might want to be the one that goes for the rocket the most because they have a constant stream of, of unlimited ink which is great 
Um, that doesn't mean they should always go for the rocket. Maybe it's better for them to attack people um, and, and kill people. Um, but we'll, I guess we'll see how that works out in the future because there's uh, that mode is probably coming soon, especially now that it's been discovered. I think I think this is the game changing um, the game changing reveal that Nintendo's talking about for E3. So. Uh, if it is, I'm excited to play it, and uh, of course the Octo expansion is coming out real soon, so I'm excited to play that too. Uh, but let me let me know, guys, what you think about uh, about both um, the new hairstyles and the new um, the new um, mode Rocket. Uh, what do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments. Uh, hit me up uh, down there if, if you'd like to see more videos like this. I like doing videos like this, and I'd like to do more of them. So if you would like to see more definitely let me know. Um, also, um, follow me on Twitter and, and on Twitch. I do live streaming uh, all weekend, uh, every weekend. So check me out on Twitch. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. And uh, I will be doing my best to comment on those, on those comments as well. And of course, I'll be back um, with more videos in the future. So thanks for watching, guys. And I'll catch you on the flippity flip.